All right, we're inside. Whoa. There's a bunch of torn up crap all over the place. Oh, wait, these are all actual... I mean, these are the people... What a massacre. It seems King's men stood their ground till the very end. Yep, ugh, head on the piano. I hope the take was worth dying for. Idiots. Dang. There seems to be a loose brick in there. Where's the loose brick, please? There we go. Oh, another key. Hmm, a key? It's fake. There's no reason why a shark would have fresh fruit around. Now that's one expensive coaster, if you ask me. <laughs> Who the hell is this? I don't know. <laughs> Dark board. I don't see any relation to our actions whatsoever. I hope that... Okay. I'm not really into pottery. It's nice, I guess. Oh, I can take them. I can think of a couple uses for the... Any of them chat? Any of them safe for work? I'll just keep them on me. And I can go this way, alright. This way, this way, this way, this way... I'm already dressed. Sharply, if I might add. Oof. Half a cop. Fish. Oh, wait, I wanted to look at it. There seems to be a key in there. Oh. Right under the plush-eating piranha. Plush-eating piranha? I'm not going in there. I'll use a tool instead. Tong! Outsmarted a fish. That's quite an accomplishment, Ted. Alright, whoa. Huh, I bet this was her idea. So she can stare at him judgingly. Forever. No time, sadly. No, not for me. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Take cop, dresser, mirror, winder, painting, lamp. Detective work usually doesn't involve this much furniture inspection. You can really feel the vanity. King can afford some really nice toys. Maybe I want a Zeppelin, I don't know. Oh wait, I figured it out. Yep, key. Yeah, can't help feeling this wouldn't happen if it was made out of lead. Okay, that one was good. There's a key, yeah, because one was in the fireplace, one was in the earth flower pot. One can never have enough keys. More elemental key stuff. Hmm. Seems like a mechanism popped a couple of books out. Interesting. The Shark Father, written by N. Mangano. N. Mangano. How to Buy Friends and Assassinate People, by I. Luciano. Blackmailing for Dummies, by K. Maranzano. K. Maranzano. Lonnie Frasco, written by G. Galliano. Labamouth is A OK in my book. Hey, Betty! Hey there, doll. Glad to see you're OK. I wish I could say the same thing. Can you, like, drop the act just this once? No. It's more fun this way. Besides, you're not getting off the hook that easy. So. They brought you in for questioning. Oh, what gave it away? Me standing in the middle of the goddamn police station getting frustrated by incompetent idiots instead of relaxing at home. I like I Betty. I told you, miss. It's a standard procedure. No need for name call. Oh, shut the hell up. That I mean, time rude. So, what happened? You've cheated on me with what's her fate? <sighs> I meant, why are you here? I honestly don't know, Ted. I was getting ready for work when the police came knocking on my door. They brought me here and told me to wait. They dragged poor Pete here as well. 
He seems... he seems okay. I have no idea what happened, but I bet it has something to do with you. Me? Who else? You show up unexpectedly, and the next thing I know, I get arrested the following day. Um, no one's getting arrested. It's a standard procedure, miss. Yeah, see, it's a standard procedure, miss. Don't you take his side! Anyways, do you have any idea what all this is about? This idiot wasn't exactly helpful. The red man I'm burned down the diner. The meanest one in the world. That cop outside told me they found CBG in the bay last night. I bet it had something to do with Red. You think CBG had a run-in with Red outside the diner? I must have missed him by, what, a couple of minutes? Dear Lord, that's terrifying. Yeah, well, stay here for now. Even though it doesn't seem like it, the police station is probably the safest place for you to be, right? Are you going after that lunatic? Something like that. I need to find the doll for- I mean, of course you lost her. That's so typical. I didn't lose her. We had a fight, and we parted ways. So where is she? That's what I'm trying to find out. Listen, doll, I need to get inside that interrogation room. What for? He's in there. I need to talk to him. CBG? He got arrested. Something about vigilante justice and junk. Oh, what nonsense! If anything, they should pay him for doing some actual police work around here. Right. <laughs> Anyways, can you, well, keep that idiot over there busy for a while? I can hear you! Do I look like his supervisor? Keep him busy how, exactly? Well, you know. Wow, that's insulting in so many ways. You're really setting the bar high these days. Look, I'm not asking you to take him out to dinner. Just keep him entertained for a couple of minutes. Well, you snoop around the police station? Exactly. Fine, but you'll owe me for this. Sure, whatever. Just make sure he's focused on you. What in the heck? You know. Do your woman-y thing. I'm literally speechless. I'm having a hard time believing that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Just make it quick. You're the best, doll. I owe you one. I hope you get shot. Hey there, honey. I'm sorry I was a bit rude earlier. Oh, well, it's understandable, miss. My, you're so handsome. Didn't notice that before. And that mustache is just... Um... So great. Um, thank you, miss. It's a real mustache. Well, of course it is. You're such a dashing young man. I bet all the girls just go crazy for you. Girls? What girls? Have they said something? So, is being a cop dangerous? <laughs> I bet it's all so The mustaches dangerous. are behind it. You must be The so only good cop brave. is Brian. And he well, doesn't have one. It is. I mean, it can be. The other day. They sent me to a donut shop, and on the way back, a bee flew into my mouth. Oh my, what on earth did you do? Well, I swallowed it, but, you know, no big deal. Amazing. You must have such story. Yeah, this one time, my friend Dave and I threw a rock at a fish, and it just flipped over like, bloop, it just floated up. Wow, go on. And this one time at band camp? Ah! <laughs> Oh, God, no, 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 no. Interrogation room. Evidence room? That, that one's closed. The sign says it all. I'm going to assume it's closed. Keep calm and shoot first. Oh, that'd be... It's locked. Shocking. That would be funnier if it weren't so true. I just have this odd feeling if I talk to... Try to talk I mean, to Pete. Of course it's empty. I mean, it'll just be asleep. Liability, what is it? And it's empty. Uh, somebody's liable. Someone was liable for refilling it, the pamphlets and didn't do it. I assume someone is liable for it being empty, i.e. they were supposed to refill the pamphlets. But as I was saying before, mustaches are behind it. Brian is the only cor uncorrupt cop as far as I'm aware, and he has no mustache. Coincidence? I think not. Alright buddy, I'm here. Let's do this. So, what do we have here? 
You better start spilling the beans, you lowlife, or this cocktail party might end early. What the? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Who the hell are you? What do you mean? I'm the bad cop. The what? The bad cop, you know. Good cop, bad cop routine. Get into it, guy. I thought that only works in movies. And it's Officer Lawrence. What's Officer Lawrence? It's my name. Yeah, yeah. Listen, pal. Are we doing this or not? I don't have all night. I guess. Wait, where's your badge? It's in the last guy who asked me that. In him? What? All right, sweetheart. You better tell me everything you know. About what? About your pension plan. The Red Man Cupcake. You working for him? What's he paying you? What the hell are you talking about, Ted? My name's not Ted. It's Bentley Dangers. That's Officer Dangers <laughs> to you, buddy. Don't know that Ted fellow, but he sounds awesome. Sure. Well, officer, as I already told your partner here, I'm not saying another word unless you tell me what I'm being charged for. Charged for. Obstruction of justice, impersonating the man of the law, withholding information. That's some of the big dogs right there. You're going away for a long time, scumbag. Okay, so, let's go step by step. What happened last night? After I left your place, I waved your wife goodbye from the street, and then I went home. <laughs> huh. He got you. He got you good. Anyway, what happened last night? Look. I was at the docks. The docks? What were you doing there? Seems to me a good friend might have told you to stay away from that place. Well, I was on my way home when I noticed Clark in the water. Clark the stalker? Nice circle of friends you have. He's not my goddamn friend. But I couldn't just let the guy drown. Why not? It's... What do you mean, why not? Anyways, I was ready to shoot him with my grappling gun. Sure. When I heard something behind me. Was it destiny? No. It was that red-hooded freak. Hmm. What do you think, partner? Hmm. Not sure. Dangers? Okay, so, then what happened? How did you end up in the bay? Well, your wife wanted to go skinny dipping, and I hate to disappoint her, too. Oh, snap. You got served, Lawrence. You got served. Apparently we're the good cop. Right. Shut up, you. As I said, I was about to pull Clark out of the bay when I heard someone behind me. I turned around, and there he was. He was as close to me as you two idiots. You better watch your mouth, Mary. And he was coming in hot, Bear. He was swinging left and right like like a goddamn maniac. I did a sweet backflip and I ended up in the. He was just standing there, in the bay. waiting for us to get back up. So we started swimming the other way. And that's when we found you. What happened to the other guy, that Clark fellow? He went home, I presume. Listen, I didn't do nothing. You're wasting your time and my time. Are you in a hurry? I promised your mom I would take her out dancing tonight. <laughs> Burn. Oh, that's it, pal. You've done it now. Lawrence, son, go and grab us a cup of coffee from across the street. This is going to get ugly. Sure thing, Dangers. How do you take it? Get me a nerve wreck. Double special, no foam. Five sugars infused chocolate flavored chest buster. Whoa there, buddy. Keep it light. You better shut it, Dr. Phil. That's pretty actually smart, making him think he wants to beat him to get him to leave the room so there's no witness. And he can't be called on to okay, testify. What the hell, Ted? Shut up. Listen, I'm here to bust you out. Do you have anything on you that might help us? Sure, I have some stuff in my utility belt, but they took it away. It's probably in the evidence room. I'll go and check. Don't move. So funny. I would laugh, but the restraints hurt my hands when I do. <laughs> Hang in there! <laughs> he crazy. It's the cracked up crusader. CBG is just Am I right and it's crazy Batman guy? Cause Wait, they're one object now? Are you two together? Oh, he's so cute. Brandon, son, I need to get inside the evidence room. Somehow. I have a key, Mr. Bear. But it's okay, son. He just needs to borrow it real quick. Ted's not a thief. You can say that again. I guess. Here you go, Mr. Bear. Just... It's okay, Chief. You'll get it back. Alright. I may be playing this entire game again partially because it just went nuts on that last bit. But not the entire game, you know what I mean. Alright. That may be why I didn't struggle quite so bad with some of it. Alright. 
Okay, maybe I just deleted the last five minutes or so and replayed them and not the whole thing. It's locked. I thought I used the key on it. Thank you, Brennan. Brian! He gets old. It's not nice when Brian's actually one of the nice ones. I can't say I recall a case like that. Nine inch nails. Knight armor. Where in the hell did you even find this? Red shell. You either love it or hate it. It's the blue shell that pisses people off, dude. I lost ten bucks on that rigged fiasco. Stuff, 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 stuff. Telescope. Uh, I'm not really into astrology. Okay. Huh. Is it Pig Acaso? Sorting hat! I hope I get sent to drinking door. <laughs> you actually know what Harry Potter stuff is to make a reference. He was a one-man apocalypse, that guy. Stuff. Nitro. Hope no one crashes into it. It would be a very bad idea just to keep that... Leather hat. Dr. Henry's hat. Oh, okay. Well, obviously you're not a golfer. Pokeball. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> okay, sometimes the references are just the annoying. The from Drury Lane had a bit too much of the white stuff. Oh, man. There is so much stuff in here and none of it seems to be pick upable. I guess his time was up. Uh, I just wanted to get... Aha! Yeah. There we go. It's CBG's gadget belt. Let's see if there's anything else I need. Got it. I should head back. What the... Whoa, what in the hell? Well, you took your sweet time. I got antsy, so I improvised a bit. What the? <laughs> you blew a hole in the police station wall. Ah, don't worry. I'll send them an anonymous contribution. Sure. B, listen. Sam and I are meeting later tonight at the old place. I stumbled onto some new information you might find interesting. I'll be there, Snoop. Watch your back, you crazy loon. <laughs> oh, uh, later that night. One night, or one rest of the day later. Let me guess. It took me long enough. Your word, Snoop. Rookie over there seems nervous. First time toppling the oppressive regime, kiddo. Don't worry about me, Mr. Bear. I'm here to help. I knew Brian was one of the good ones. Switch sides so suddenly. I'm only asking because the other 99% of the police force is as crooked as it gets. I know, Mr. Bear. That's one of the main reasons I'm here with you tonight. It's. It just doesn't feel right anymore. You mean your boss following the dollar shaped crumbs that pig is throwing him? Well, there's that. Yeah. Also. I really care for Miss Ashworth. 50-50 Brian survives the night. As you should, son. Okay. So what's going on here? I didn't sign up to be a babysitter, Ted. Sam, did you have time to go through that case I gave you? I glanced over it. It's big, Snoop. King compiled everything to put Mills away for good. I mean, there's photos of the meeting with Red, audio logs, a list of people on the take, everything. So, what's the plan? Um. Sam, you go back to Paper Daily and do your thing. Just make sure this hits the streets by tomorrow morning. Once it's out in public, Mills is going to have the whole city after him. You got it. Brian, son, you go through that list in that briefcase and gather all the cops you can find that are not on it. Get it? Yes, sir, Mr. Bear. CBG, get me a sandwich. Oh, I... And that leaves us. You, loon. We need to find Amber. Last I know, she was at King. Oh my God! Are we teaming up? Locke was there with his bulls. I don't know where they took her, but it sure wasn't the precinct. And King. He's gone to the big one B. Just like that. We can start at the mayor's mansion and. No need for that, Bear. I know where they took her. What? How could you know that? There's something I need for you to see before we go get her, Ted. What is it? Go to the east tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room. Yeah, I know. Or does it, Ted? What do you mean? Listen to me, Ted. Go and see for yourself, and then come meet me downtown. 
The girl will be there. How will I know where to find? Oh, god damn it. That's right there. Look for the seagulls. Look at where they fly. B, god damn it, I don't have time for this. I thought you snoops were supposed to keep an open mind. I... I'm your friend, Ted, and I care for the girl. You just, you have to trust me on this one. Go through the tunnel and see where it takes you. After that, come find me at the place where the seagulls flock. If this turns out to be a wild seagull chase, B, we won't get another chance. You understand that? I do, <coughs> All right, I trust you. I'll go scout ahead, assess the threat level, meet me after you're done. Brian. Sir? He got his name right! Once you gather those few good men, meet us downtown. If it all goes as planned, we could get rid of that bastard Mills and the Red Man, all in the same night. So, we're really doing this, aren't we? Hate's getting to you, buddy. Good thing I can keep a cool head, yeah? Hmm. Dead? Goddamn, I need a drink. That was an odd dot to connect. Well, you said cool head, and I thought of... Ice? Yeah, ice. And how it goes well with carrot juice and... <laughs> All right. Tigran's Lair Tunnel. This looks very final. Might not be, though. There's still a lot of plot left unpluted. Come on. Do I really need a loading screen just for that? Are they dead? Hey, low lives. Are you guys? Can you hear me? No amber, no paper city. Well, there. No What's magic that? in the toys. Is that? Is it expanding? That's not good. What's happening to the room? Why is all the stuff disappearing? I don't know. I need to get out of here. Yeah? I think so. I wonder if that big bunny plush came with the suit or if she put it on him. Wait, there's no flint at all? I'm confused. Flint's room is... I mean, that wasn't just stuff moved out. That was... Utility room. Some famous painter once said, when I don't have red, I use blue. What does that even mean? Is it just conventions flying out the window? Or is it a form of compromise? Until now, I thought the colors were pretty straightforward. Sun is yellow, sky is blue, and so on. But then again, I was never much of an artist. That's Amber's thing. What happens when all the colors come crashing down on you, like the world's most colorful tidal wave? I have no idea what I just witnessed. The violent, abrupt clashing of what can only be described as different realities. Ones that can't coexist in the same space. I was never a superstitious man. I value logic and reason above all things, none of which I found in there. Flint's room is not his room anymore, it's just a storage. I was there before. I saw his room. Didn't I? The mugshot boys. What happened to them? They seemed dead, but somehow still alive. It's like they got caught somewhere in between Paper City and the other reality. Not quite dead, but not alive either. I'm positive whatever the hell that was in there, I would suffer the same fate as those two lowlifes had I decided to stay a bit longer. I can't grasp any of this anymore. I'm missing something. A key component. How is all of this connected? What am I not seeing here? I have to get to Amber. I need to get her away from Mills before he hands her over to Red. With Locke and PCPD on his side, that won't be an easy task, though. And I have to be prepared for anything. No kidding. I have to find her and tell her what I found out. 
Maybe she can make sense of all this. B told me to follow the seagulls, and I would find Amber. Any other day, I'd call him crazy and tell him to go home and rest, but not today. I have a bad feeling about the outcome of tonight's events, but I have no choice. I have to keep on. I have to finish this, despite all odds. So much narrating. I'm done following logic, as it didn't bring me anywhere so far. It's time to sacrifice my principles at the altar of greater good and follow my gut on this one. In other words, if I don't have red, I'll use blue instead. Whatever the hell that means. Something about Brian, because he's one of the blue boys in blue. That's new. Took you long enough. I mean, did you see it? I don't know what I saw, B. How's your investigation going? Regarding the kid? I'm completely lost here, B. I need to get to the doll. Maybe she can make some sense out of all this, but first things first. What things? We need to get to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Don't worry, Snoop. Any news from the rest of the Breakfast Club? No, but I trust they'll pull through on their end. I can't believe you were right about the damn seagulls, you nut. What's the deal with that? I told you, Bear. The gulls are just the means. Mills paid off someone to train them. They're carrying recording devices on. It's how that pig keeps everything in check. God damn it. Keep your voice down. I mean, it's not surprising. Information is power, Snoop. All of this is insane, B. It's like some cheesy crime drama. Yeah, and you know how those things end for guys like us, right? Huh. <laughs> perish the thought, buddy. And hope we don't perish with it. All right. I'll take care of the mustache club by the entrance. You take care of the one patrolling on the right. Wait. What do you mean, take care of it? You know, take him That's an armed police Take him out. And you're an armed, desperate man. Which one of you, do you think, has the upper hand? I'm not going to shoot the man, B. Who said anything about shooting? Use your wits. Craft something. Isn't that your thing? I... You might be confusing my life with that of MacGyver's. Just think of something. <laughs> sure, whatever. Are you ready? I'm always ready. <laughs> Whoa! Not how I anticipated it ending. CBG got him good. Hide the bodies. These walkies might come in handy. You stay here. Make sure there's no more surprises. If you see Red coming for her. Try and stall him. Stall him? How? You know, craft something. Oh, I get it. Catch you later, and be careful. <laughs> I have a feeling tomorrow's issue will be sold out. Sold out. I'll just grab one of these. Well, it sure ain't a wrench pipe. I have to wait till he turns his back. Okay. That's an injury lawsuit if I ever saw one. Injury lawsuit, you say? Well, we better cover that up. We wouldn't want someone to step on it. This is Wiley Coyote level of genius. And how'd that work out for Wiley Coyote? Till he turns his back. He has turned his back. So I can't just run by. He'll see me. I better keep my head down. Here we go. And here we go. Eagle calling dog. The chicken hit the floor. Over. Wilhelm scream! I approve! I always wanted to drive one of these. Alright. 
That's an injury lawsuit. Yes, yes. Ah! Elevator. You don't push the button, I push the button. Yeah, I make that reference a lot. Here it goes. Now, I really freaking loved that episode of Tiny Tunes as a kid. <laughs> 